Hello, welcome to Cooper Urogynecology. Today's topic is urinary incontinence. Urinary incontinence is the involuntary loss of urine. Normal bladder function involves the bladder filling with urine and then being emptied under voluntary control. There are two types of urinary incontinence, stress urinary incontinence and urgency urinary incontinence. First, we will talk about stress urinary incontinence. Stress urinary incontinence is caused by a weakening of the pelvic floor muscles. In these cases, when an increased abdominal pressure is generated, such as during coughing, laughing, or sneezing, an involuntary loss of urine occurs. The increased abdominal pressure from coughing or laughing causes the bladder to leak urine. There are several treatment options for stress urinary incontinence. They include pelvic floor muscle exercises or Kegel exercises, pessary, and surgery. Pelvic floor exercises or pelvic floor physical therapy help to rebuild the pelvic floor muscle strength. This can help prevent the loss of urine due to stress urinary incontinence. A pessary is a vaginal insert that is placed inside the vagina by a healthcare professional and helps to support the structures around the bladder to help prevent the loss of urine due to stress urinary incontinence. Surgery can be another treatment option for stress urinary incontinence. A sling can be placed underneath the urethra, the tube that empties the bladder, in order to prevent leakage of urine during coughing, laughing, sneezing, or other similar activities. Next, we will talk about urgency urinary incontinence. Urgency urinary incontinence is caused by a disconnect between the brain and the bladder. In this type of incontinence, a woman feels a sudden urge to go to the bathroom to urinate. However, she cannot control that urge and she leaks urine. Normally, a woman can control her urge to go to the bathroom to urinate. However, in urgency urinary incontinence, woman cannot control her bladder and leaks urine. There are several treatment options for urgency urinary incontinence. They include dietary changes, oral medications, acupuncture of the ankle. Surgical options include injection of botulinum toxin into the bladder and placement of a bladder pacemaker. Dietary changes that can be made to reduce the symptoms of urgency urinary incontinence involve either reducing or eliminating the following from one's diet. Caffeinated beverages such as coffee, tea, and soda, citrus juices, and other beverages with artificial sweeteners. Oral medications can also be used to treat the symptoms of urgency urinary incontinence. Acupuncture of the ankle can also help with symptoms of urinary urgency and associated incontinence. Surgical treatment options for urgency urinary incontinence include injection of botulinum toxin or Botox into the bladder. This has been shown to help reduce the symptoms of urinary urgency and incontinence. Another surgical option for the treatment of urgency urinary incontinence is the placement of a device called Interstim. This is a bladder pacemaker that also helps control the symptoms of urgency and incontinence. In conclusion, we discussed two types of urinary incontinence today stress urinary incontinence, and urgency urinary incontinence. They are each caused by different changes in our bodies and each have different treatment options. Thank you for watching our video. Now we will present two scenarios about urinary incontinence. So what brings you to the office today? Um, I came in today because ever since I had my baby, um, I have been having some issues with leaking urine and it's been starting to get worse. Um, every time I cough or I sneeze, I have a little bit of urine that comes out and it's gotten to the point now where I'm having to wear pads 
and I, I've been trying to run a little bit more, you know, get, get back in shape after the baby. And every time I exercise, I end up leaking urine and it's starting to get really frustrating. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. It sounds like you're suffering from something called stress urinary incontinence. It's basically a weakening of the pelvic floor muscles, which causes you to leak urine when you have any kind of stress associated with it. Now that's a physical stress and not an emotional stress. So like coughing, laughing, sneezing, or exercising may cause you to leak some urine when you don't want to. There's a couple of treatment options that we can offer for stress urinary incontinence. The first are pelvic floor muscle exercises. You may know of them as Kegel exercises, and they work by strengthening the pelvic floor. You can also use a vaginal insert called a pessary that kind of also adds support to the urinary system and prevents you from leaking urine. And the final thing that we can help you with, which is also the most invasive, is surgery. And that's the sling procedure that you may have heard about. Hi, what brings you into the office today? So I um, have this issue where I feel like I always need to use the restroom. It, it feels like I, I just need to pee all the time. For example, like I'll be running up uh, the stairs to my house and trying to get in. If I'm not quick enough, I'll just like, pee my pants. It's gotten so bad it's where the point where I'm always looking for bathrooms and I can't really hold it in very long. Okay, okay. So, so from what you're telling me, it seems like, like you may have urgency urinary incontinence and what um, urge incontinence is it's a disconnect between your brain and your bladder where your bladder tends to act independently and what happens is you get st sudden urges strong urges to go to the bathroom and you can't quite make it and you lose urine mm -hmm. okay now we do have options for you right? um, one of the options is as simple as diet modification Another option is we can try different kinds of medications as well. Um, we could also inject um, uh, things into your bladder, um, into the muscle of the bladder itself to help um, with the overactive bladder or the urgency incontinence. And the other options we have are a bladder pacemaker that we can install as well as we can do acupuncture for your bladder.